Hello viewers, this is a tutorial on how to automate report user on Quora using Socinator. If there are Quora users you want to report, then Socinator can help you out. Let's start with the Accounts Manager screen from where we can navigate to configure the accounts. To do that, right-click on your Quora account and hit Go to Tools. This will take you to the account configuration screen. You can also see the available activities, which can be automated on Quora through Socinator. Let's click Report User. This is very useful as it makes it faster and easier to report a number of users within a period of time while narrowing them down in the process. There are several configuration categories for Report User Activity. Let's start with Search Query. As the name suggests, Search Query allows you to command the software on how to search targeted users to report. There are two important sections, Query Type and Query. Query Type defines how you want to search the user. You can select the Query Type by clicking the drop-down button. Once you have chosen your Query Type, enter the query either manually by typing in this area, or you may click this button to import from CSV or text file. Select the right file, then click Open. When you're done, click the Add Queries to the List button and it will be added to the Queries list over here. To show you how this works, let's test each query type. For keywords, let's type the name of a band user, for example, Milton Compton. Click Add. So this will target Quora users containing this keyword and report them. Next, we have someone's followers. For this one, we need a specific Quora username. Let's say you want to target the followers of this Quora user. Copy the username here, paste it in the query box, then click Add. So this will target the followers of this specific Quora user. Next, we have someone's followings. Let's use the same username. Click Add. This time, it will target the users he is following. Next, we have Custom Users List. For this one, we need a specific profile URL or profile ID of the Quora user we want to report. Let's use the same profile ID, paste it, then click Add. So this will target and report this specific Quora user. Next, we have Engaged Users. For this one, we have three options to target users. The first one, is to target users who answered a specific question. The format is answer, colon, question, colon, the question URL. So for this part over here, you need to paste the question URL from Quora. The next option is users who commented on a Quora answer. So this is the format, comment, colon, answer, colon the answer URL. So copy and paste the answer URL here from Quora. The last option is users who commented on a Quora question. So this is the format, comment, colon, question, colon, question URL. So paste the question URL from Quora over here. So for this query type engaged users, let's select the first option. So users who answered a question. So the format is answer, colon, question, colon. Then we need a specific question URL from Quora. Let's say you want to target this question, for example. Click this button, then click copy link. Paste the question URL, then click add. So this will target users who answered that specific Quora question. The next one is Topic Followers. We need a specific Quora topic for this one. Let's say this topic, for example. Copy the topic ID over here. Paste it in the query box, then click Add. So this will target the followers of that specific Quora topic. The last one is Answer Upvoters. For this one, we need a specific Quora answer. Let's say you want to target this answer, for example. Click this button, then click Copy Link. Paste it in the query box, then click Add. So this will target the users who upvoted this specific Quora answer. 
You can add several query types and queries depending on your preferences. If you want to delete a query from the list, simply click the trash bin button on the right side of the query you want to remove. Let's say you want to delete the first one, click it and it's gone. The next configuration category is job configuration. This allows us to choose the speed at which an account should report users. We have already created a few activity speed configurations which you can use like slow with an average daily activities of 16, medium with 41, fast with 66, or super fast with 83. Super fast is not recommended for new or real accounts. If you want to define your own speed settings, click advanced settings. Delay between each operation is the number of seconds between each user is reported. Delay between jobs is the number of minutes the software should pause after reporting the number of users you set and number of users to report per job. Number of users to report per job will allow you to specify the number of users to report per job or per cycle. You can also specify the number of users to report per hour, per day, and per week. Click this box to increase each day with a specific number until it reaches another custom number of max users to report per day. You can also create a daily schedule under day of the week when to operate. This is very useful if you want to keep reporting users even when you're asleep or busy doing other things. If you don't want to operate on let's say Monday, click the trash bin button under Monday and it's gone. You can add multiple time frames in one day. Simply click the day you want to configure, Monday for example, provide the start and end time, let's say 12 a.m. to 1.59 a.m. and click add interval and it's added. Let's add another one on the same day, let's say 2 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. click add interval. So as you can see, we can have several schedules in one day. You may save these time settings by clicking create favorite. Let's call it Quora report user. Click save. We can then open it by clicking select favorite time and choosing Quora report user. The next tool is user filters. This allows us to filter the users we want to report on Quora. Check the first one to target those who have profile pictures. Next, you can specify the minimum and maximum number of the user's answers count, questions count, posts count, blogs count, topics count, edits count, and answer views count. Next, we have places where the user should not have lived, places where the user should not have studied, and places where the user should not have worked. Type the places you want to target in the text boxed area. You may clear using the clear all button and it's gone. You may also click this button to import from CSV or text file. Select the right file, then click open. When you're done, click the save button over here. Next, you can specify the minimum number of characters in the user's bio. Then, you can specify the minimum and maximum number of the user's followings and followers. Next, we have words that should not be in the bio description and words that should not be in the username. Type the words you want to avoid. Again, you may clear or import using these buttons. And when you're done, click save. Next, you can specify the user's follow ratio in a specific range between two numbers, then the number of days of when the user should have answered recently. Finally, you can ignore followers and non-English users if you want to target English-speaking users only. The last tool is Manage Blacklisted Users. Blacklisted users are the core accounts you do not want Socinator to interact with. This can either be a private blacklist which belongs to a specific Quora account or a group blacklist which is shared between all the accounts you add. When you're satisfied with all the configurations and are ready to start reporting users on Quora, let's scroll up and click save. Success. After saving, let's click the status button to make it active. Now that it's active, let me show you another option in automating report user on Quora using Socinator. This one allows us to create campaigns, which is perfect for multiple accounts. To start, let's go to the upper right corner of the app and click the social drop-down button and select Quora. This will take us to the accounts tab. Let's switch to the report tab. 
and select users on the left side of the app. Here we can name our campaign. Let's call it Quora Report Users. For search query, let's select Answer Upvoters for our query type. Then paste the same answer URL from earlier. Click Add. For job configuration, let's select Slow. For user filters, it's up to you. Then let's manage blacklisted users, private blacklist. When you're ready, let's click the blue button, select account over accounts. In this part, you can select multiple Quora accounts. Since we only have one, let's go with that by checking the box, then click save. After saving, let's click the red button, create campaign. If you want to proceed, click your account and the save button. This will automatically bring us to the campaigns tab where you can see that you have successfully created our Quora Report Users campaign. Click the status button to pause the campaign and the action button over here will allow us to edit, duplicate, or delete the campaign. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot and thank you so much for watching.